Good morning, fellas. How are you? Hope you're all okay. Right, so as you've just seen on screen, oh, I've got a new toy look. <laughs> I'm dead chuffed with it. Although I did order the uh, tiny one by mistake. Anyway, never mind. Right, as you can see on camera, this is, uh, I think it's update two, will it be? Yeah, it must be because I've barely done any updates of my buddy build with Glenn um, Halliden um, down in good old Alls. Um, we're both building the Tammy uh, uh, Panther. He's doing a steel wheeled version, uh, Panther G, sorry, should I say. Um, he's doing the um, steel wheeled version. I'm doing the normal G version, but I'm trying to um, portray Ernst Bartmans, who was a, a, a German tank commander, you know, famous tank commander of the Second World War. Um, I'm trying to portray his last uh, Panther tank he, he drove. Now, I'm going to make a a start before I say a disclaimer that as most folk know me I've never tried to build anything that's been 100% accurate or whatever else and if I do I will say beforehand now this is going to try and be fairly accurate however I know Mike Cohen has done a, a, a Bartman's Panther in the past I'm not sure if any other people have, but they, Mike's the only one to sort of come up on a search that I've done. Um, as Mike will, well, did confirm with myself that there's barely much uh, research material out there for Bartman's uh, Panther um, G that he drove towards the end of his sort of tanking career. Um, so, I mean, there's, I think he drove a D... Uh, beforehand, commanded a D beforehand or something. Um, so um, the reason I'm doing it is because there's a quite a famous story of him um, sort of going on a bit of a free-for-all <laughs> and taking out numerous Shermans on his way as he did. And it was almost like an old um, police car chase film where a load of Shermans were chasing him and, and you know, and he took him out and various others. Now, I did say on my last update, on this update, I'd do, I'd read their story out, but um, I haven't got much time um, and I want to try and get this done, just this update done as it's fair to Glenn, because obviously he's done a couple now, um, although he has, is doing quite a, you know, a couple of tanks. So, I mean, you know, so, um, so, as you, so, what I shall do is I make a promise. After Christmas, I will. I promise a hundred percent. I will do um, a full update. Um, I'll also show you the type of uh, retail materials and stuff like that that I'm using. Um, I shall go into in depth what I'm using on this uh, the, this dio base. And, and all sorts and the paints and whatever else but this one i've got to be fairly quick because i've got to take the mother out shopping right so <clears throat> as you can see this is a diorama base so my story is going to be um i'm just portraying a sort of a back type um cobbled road um in uh, i can't think of the the anyway it's on the road to manor Heights in a little sort of village um, and they've stopped and there's going to be like a German, um, like a bit of a commander here we're on a barrel with a map pointing out some directions. There's going to be Harry the horse here sort of with a, a tank guy, with a guy on, on him um, and they're all awaiting. Now I'm trying to portray this, this road as sort of... It hasn't been used all that much, like they haven't gone all this sort of way. So they've sort of used here, but they haven't gone properly for a while down this way. So as you can see, there's all bits of rubble piling up here. Um, so that's what I'm going to try and portray uh, in uh, with this. If you can see glitter in bits like that, it's not actually glitter. It's like icicles. So it looks like the road is actually frozen. Now, I've got a new light that I'm using. I don't know whether that will help anymore. That's off. 
no it doesn't and that's on yeah so i want to just uh, point that out first because i am trying to update motti's military model shall we say um the channel and get a few bits like try and invest in a new camera um a laptop and so on because uh, i'm only using my tablet that's all the means i have um so you know I, that, that's all i can really tell you at the minute anyway bye bye back to this so um i'm trying a few new ideas i've i've uh, wanted to try on a diorama um, I'm still relatively new to dioramas. I think this will probably be my third, I think. Possibly third or fourth, anyway. So, yeah, um, so that's the story I'm trying to portray. And then I'm going to have sort of uh, Bartman sitting just on the edge of his tank, ready, you know, seeing what the commander here is, is about to say. And um, the hatches are all sort of done up on the tank um because it's cold and wet so let's take this off that's the diorama base there is still quite a few bits to do on the diorama base um i want to add obviously the final bits of weathering um to uh, the, t the the tank once it's joined joined up now right there is not much information regarding bartman's um tank shall we say his vehicle so let's move the camera back i'm trying this new stand as well guys and it's supposed to be dead good but it'll wobble for a bit right so yeah um so i've tried a couple of new um weathering types on the tank as well um instead of um giving it a oh, let's move that over here there we go instead of giving it a um filter and all that type of thing i've used a clay wash and then i've basically it's a sludge wash so i've i've piled it all over the tank and then instead of wiping it off i've sanded it off so it's sort of dug it into the nooks and crannies um, and it's sort of acted as a filter to to blend the colors um i wanted a bit of a darker sort of not heavily weathered but sort of on the verge of heavily weathered if you know what i mean um because of course this is our dens so it's going to be muddy it's cold it's wet it's windy you know you, you've seen band of brothers you've seen uh, the battle of the bulge and stuff like that you know so you, you you sort of know um so this is where we are with the tank at the minute it, it, there's like a, a rough painting that someone's done of, of bartman's uh, panther G and um, that's about the the best that anybody sort of got of uh, what Bartman's Panther G looked like really in the camouflage colours. So I've tried to go on sort of late war type of what the camouflages would be used then. Yes, I know it's not accurately correct. Before everybody starts shouting at me and whatever else, I couldn't give two hoots. It's my tank, so bugger off if you don't like it. Um. I've used some photo etch uh, side skirts, which are these, I think they are the Able ones or something. Uh, uh, Glenn very kindly um, sent to me, which I'm well chuffed because I'm only using a couple of them. Well, a few of them I'm going to be using, but of course, Luke, you can bend them um, to how you want them, which is nice. Um, and of course, paint them how you want and, and, and whatever else. Um, so that's those that are on there. Um, the tracks I shall be using are were very kindly sent to me by Alan, and uh, I've got another set sent to me by Glenn. Um, these are the Ferrule tracks. Um, they're all painted, as you can see, and I began to weather them um, with the mud and everything, but I want to wait, like I say, ready for um, when I actually add it to the 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 dio so so it sort of all matches and and looks right so i stopped halfway through um so that's uh, basically um, them like i say i will go into depth guys of how it actually looks um and what i used and everything um when i get a chance just point out on the tank first because i know there'll be new people to the video and everything that haven't seen me other ones um bartman drove a early house g now this has got a late um vent on the back here and it's also got a late 
um, gun mantlet there too. Um, the kit didn't give me any other options to do that and I didn't want to, at the time I wasn't in a financial position to go out and buy extras and all that type of thing. So I've just basically, you know, it's had to do. So there we go. Uh, the figures I shall be doing soon. They are the figures at the minute. I, um, I will be slowly cutting down on them because I feel it's uh, for the Dio base as well. I think it's just going to be a bit too busy. There's the horse. Um, it's a Tamiya one. I've had to do quite a bit of, uh, you know, um, surgery on it and all that type of stuff. Um, what else have we got? Oh yeah, um, all the guns, weapons, and and uh, tools and that are uh, all done. I've tried something different. I always uh, do my vehicles with all the ta uh, tools attached because one of my favourite ever modellers, um, Marcus Nichols, the editor of the Tamiya magazine, um, I watched one of his famous videos once, and he says, you know, it's true, if you just paint them while they're on the tank, you save half your paint, because you're really painting half the tool, which is right, of course. But um, this time, I just wanted to just try something different and try it that way. Um, these, of course, before anybody says, are not fully painted yet. They're just halfway there sort of thing. Uh, some of them are dragon tools, and some of them are actually the kit tools. Um, what I had in my spare box, the dragon ones are. Um, I've added the straps of the guns, most of the guns anyway. Just got to do a couple more. Um, so that's the guns. Um, the wheels are almost done. Um, again, I've done the same method: clay wash and, and sort of sanded them, and then uh, rubbed them in with a sort of paintbrush to get it all looking you know like they are i have done bits of wear and tear on them before i even painted the kit so i shall go back in and add the right chipping and all that type of thing the tires have all been worn with their uh, bits worn out of them now a lot of modelers do forget to actually chip and add wear to the tires so um i've gone in with a uh, sort of lighter tire color and chipped them and sort of out you know done them i will go over them again um the idler wheels and the sprockets are all done and chipped ready. They are actually done with a humbrol uh, enamel uh, metallic, which I like because you can actually buff them up once they're dry. Um, and that's about it, really. So that's a quick update for you guys. I'm sorry it's not a full in-depth one. Like I say, I wanted to just get a quick one done before Christmas. So um, we need, you know, we'll be... Um, that'll be it now till after Christmas. So, um, but at least we got one out there. So, uh, I want to say uh, Merry Christmas to you all, guys. Have a happy New Year, and uh, be safe. You know, don't go doing silly things, um, or whatever. And uh, try and get a bit of modelling done while you're in the uh, on your holidays or whatever. Um, you know. Anyway, guys, hope you're well. Hope you all stay safe, and may the force be with you. See ya.